Welcome students. So in this session we are going to study programmable interval timer. IC number is 8254 or 8253. So mostly it is called as 8254. Okay, programmable interval timer. What is timer? So timer in the sense it will generate time delay what is time delay so it generate square pulses on time and off time so this timer generate pulses and it is given to other device to operate for example in our microprocessor operate at 6 megahertz so the programmable interval timer generate the clock pulse for 6 megahertz how generate so generate the crystal oscillator frequency into record 6 megahertz frequency the crystal oscillator frequency may be more than 6 megahertz so the timer is programmed programmable so we can program the timer according to the program we can generate pulses and delay etc so that it is called as programmable interval timer so we can generate some interval time okay right so this programmable timer is used in many applications okay so let us enter into video u.com recap so in the last class we studied the 8251 serial communication interface in so by using that 8251 we can connect peripheral device in serial manner by low cost okay so objective of today's session is so to learn about 8253 or 8254 programmable interval timer or timer interface IC so student can understand after this session about 8254 or 8253 programmable interval timer before seeing 8254 we must know the different features of 8254 so the 8254 has three independent 16 bit counters what is the difference between counters and timer so timer generates pulses according to our requirement that is based on program given into 8254 counter can count external pulses coming from real world so it is act as a timer or counter so it has three independent timer or counter so three timers and three counters present clock input up to 10 megahertz so if we use 8254 as counter so we can give a clock input up to 10 megahertz status readback command is used that is used to find the status of timer by reading the status then six programmable counter modes so it has six different modes so based on this mode we can program the 8254 in different ways 
then counting is based on two methods one is binary counting or another one is bcd counting so according to the programming we can select any one of the counting method then the operating voltage is 5 volt very low voltage very low current so the operating voltage is same as that of 8 to 86 operating voltage then the another one ic name that is 8253 is also used okay so these are the some features of 8254 programmable interval timer the next you will see the pin diagram of 8254 so 8254 is packed in dip dual in line package so it has 24 pins in one side you are having 12 pins another side you are having 12 pins totally we are having 24 pins so let us see the signals are each individual pins details so first one the d0 to d7 so that is a io that is a data input or output so it is a bi-directional three state data bus lines connected to system data bus then next one is a clk0 that is a clock zero clock input for counter zero out zero means output zero that is output of counter zero gate zero means that is gate zero that is a gate input of counter zero then ground ground is a power supply connection that is ground connection zero volt then vcc is a five volt power supply connection w or bar that is a write control signal so this input is low during cpu write operations similarly rd bar it is a read control signal so this input is also low during cpu read operation then cs bar that is a chip select so a low on this input enable the 8254 to respond read and write signals read and write signals are ignored otherwise then a1 and a2 sorry a0 and a1 so that is a input so it is a address used to select one of the three counter or the control word register for read or write operations normally connected to the system address bus so if it is uh, both uh, a0 and a1 is 0 then it select the counter 0 0 1 means it select the counter 1 1 0 means it select counter 2 1 1 means it select control word register the next one is a uh, clock 2 and a clock 1 these are clock input of counter 1 and counter 2 respectively then out 2 and out 1 is a uh, output of counter 2 and 1 respectively then gate 2 and gate 1 is gate input of counter 2 and counter 1 respectively okay so these are the pin description of 8254 programmable interval timer next one the block diagram of 8254 so the block diagram is very important in exam point of view so you, you should draw it neat manner so the block diagram consists of six blocks so the first two blocks that is the data bus buffer and read write logic is common to all the blocks all the ic's all the interfacing ic's the data bus buffer or data bus transfer it is a bi-directional uh, three state data bus so it can store the data of byte so the data bus buff transfer that is used to transfer the data between uh, microprocessor and 8254 in both the direction and read write logic that receive the control signal from 
a microprocessor 8086 and it it control controller register then counter 2 counter 1 and counter 0 the control signals received from microprocessors are that is a read control signal write control signal address lines a0 a1 and chip select so these are the control signal received from the microprocessor and control word register that is used to store the control word values that is in 8 bit according to the control word value so we can program the 8254 then right side we are having a three blocks that is a counter 0 counter 1 counter 2 so these counters are used to count the external clock pulses coming from other devices so it has three uh, io one is clock zero out zero gate zero so clock is the input coming from other device then out is the output that is also coming from other device and the gate is uh, input that is to control the counter okay right then this is a signal diagram of a254 so these signals are present in the block diagram okay so this is a block diagram explanation next you are going to see internal blocks of counter count register actually internal blocks means that is a uh, architecture of 8254 so it has the count register then uh, counting element output latch etc okay the count register is used to store count uh, that is c or l and c or m similarly counting element ce or is used for counting output latch ol l and ol m to latch the count in ce that is a counting element the control word register is not part of the counter itself but it is uh, its content determine how the counter operates so control word register control the count uh, timer the status register when latched this contain the current yellow current content of control word register and status of output and null count flag okay status register that is user to uh, indicate the status of a254 so the microprocessor can read the status according to the status value so we can find the value or the level of the a254 next one is the internal block diagram so internal block diagram consists of control logic status register status latch control word register then count register then count element then output latch so these are the blocks inside the a254 next one we are going to see in the system interface how to connect the system with microprocessor so actually the data lines of uh, a254 that is d not to d7 directly connected to uh, data bus of microprocessor and the control signals that is read write chip select these control signals are connected with the control bus then address lines a0 and a1 that is connected from address bus these are the connections between 8254 and microprocessor and the output things are we are having uh, two inputs and one output for each counter out out is the output gate and the clock is a input similarly for counter 0 counter 1 and counter 2 okay this is a system interface next one is a control word format this is a very important so it is uh, many time I screen two more questions control word format of 8254 so it has 8 bit so each bit is allocated for some specified operations so we will see one by one first one bit zero bit zero is for bcd if it is one then the counter act used the bcd value or select a bcd when one 
if it is zero means it will select binary value then pin num uh, digit that is uh, second one and two it is for the mode it is used to select the modes actually uh, one two and three m0 m1 m2 is used for select the modes that is zero one and two so actually we are having a uh, six modes the mode zero to mode five so the mode is selected based on these three value next one four and five that is for read or write control if it is zero means counter latch command zero one means read write least significant byte only one zero means read write msp only one one means read write least significant byte first followed by the most significant byte so mostly we select one one because we must read uh, lsp and the msp one by one next one pin uh, bit number six and seven is, is for select the counter value so if it is zero zero means we can select counter zero zero one means we can select counter one one zero means we can select counter two one one means read back command okay so these are the control word control word is a 8 bit register so each bit is dedicated for some particular operations so according to the value that is 0 or 1 the particular functions are controlled so each counter is individually programmed by writing a control word followed by the initial count so if you want to run the counter we have to first write control word in the control word register after that we must write the count value okay the control word allows the programmer to select counter modes of operation binary at bcd count and type of read or write operations so the programmer can program a254 only through the control word register or control word format okay next we are going to see the write operations how to write if you want to write the any value count value or control word in the internal register of 8254 we must need these three signals that is cs should be zero then only the particular chip is selected then read is one because read should be disabled because we are going to write then wr is enabled by zero so control word to control register so control word that is a number is loaded into control register that is a write to control register initial count must follow the count format specified in the control word that is a least significant byte only most significant byte only or least significant byte and then most significant byte so according to the mode we can write the control word see here uh, in 4 and 5 read rate control so if you are selecting 1 1 so we can write or read both least significant bit and most significant bit okay so next we are going to see the read operation so to perform the read operation we need uh, write equal to 1 and read equal to 0 that is enabled and the chip select is also enabled three possible method to read counters simple read operation counter latch command read back command so the read operation is based on three of methods simple read operations counter latch counter read operation latch command then read back command so two io read operations have to be performed to get first lower byte and then higher byte of count okay right next we are going to see the symbol read operation so hitting counter using gate or clock input at the so the counter latch command is for above condition is considered so here we are choosing d4 d5 is 0 0 because that is the counter latch command then sc 
1 and sc2 that is specify the counter to be latched then don't care x is the don't care bits must be zero ensure the compatibility with future intel product okay so this is a counter latch command okay that is also 8 bit so if you perform the counter latch command we should select a1 a0 is 11 one, one, c is equal to 0 rd equal to 1 wr equal to 0 because we are performing right operation okay right then read back command so these are the commands are asked in two more questions so read back command also we have to select the address a0 a1 is 11 cs is 0 rd is 11 wrs is 0 okay right so here the it is a 8 bit register so uh, d0 is reserved for future expansion and d1 is used for counter 1 d2 is used for counter 2 d3 for counter 2 and d4 for status indication latch status okay i have selected counter and d5 is for latch count of selected counter and d6 d7 is should be 1 and 1 okay that indicates that is read back command okay so this is a way we can select read back command okay right then status byte so the status byte that is used to indicate the status of 8254 so it is also 8 bit so the d7 is output if it is 1 means the output pin is 1 that is enabled if it is 0 means the output pin is 0 that means output is disabled d6 is a null count if it is 1 means that is considered as a null count if it is 0 means count available for reading null count means that is a 0 next d5 to d not that is a d not to d5 that is counter programmed mode rw1 rw2 m1 m2 m not and bcd so this d not to d5 used in that is our control word register already we are studied okay see uh, this is a bcd m1 actually the d not to d5 is same okay right that is present in a status word okay this is a status word that is c in figure 7 okay right. next one read back command example okay, it is uh, this way we can do the read back operation so all the read back that is d6 and d7 is 1 okay remaining d0 to d5 is according to our requirement so based on the requirement we can uh, perform the different operations okay so first one is the d1 is 1 so read back count and status of counter 0 next one is a uh, d2 is 1 so that is for counter 1 then d3 is uh, sorry here also d2 is uh, d3 and d2 is 1 that is a readback status of counter 2 comma 1 okay then readback count for counter 2 here this one and this is for readback count for status of counter 1 okay so readback status of counter 1 actually this is for not record okay so this is a readback command example only okay right next one we are going to see interleaved read and write operations valid sequence for read and write of same counter set for two byte count that is a read uh, least significant byte write new least significant byte read most significant byte write new most significant byte these are the valid sequence for read and write of same counter set for two byte count okay 
the next one is modes of a254 so the a254 has six modes that is mode 0 to mode 5 mode 0 is a uh, interrupt on terminal count mode 1 is a uh, hardware read triggerable one shot mode 2 is a uh, read generator mode 3 is a uh, square wave mode mode 4 is a uh, square triggered stroke software triggered stroke mode 5 is a uh, hardware triggered stroke we will see one by one the first one we are going to see mode 0 so that is a interrupt on terminal column so what is mode 0 so mode 0 is a that is mainly for even counting okay i will send you a soft copy of the book okay right so mode 0 is a uh, used for even counting so after the control word is written the out initially low okay initially the out is low that is indicated by the dot dot line okay this is initially the output is low that is indicated with dot dot lines okay and will remain low until the counter reaches zero until the counter reaches zero after that okay out become host high and remain high for new count okay actually and the out is initially low for the counter reaches zero actually this is an outline so that is low uh, up to up to the counter reaches zero when the counter reaches zero it is entered into high level it is waiting for next count then gate is always one for enable counting and the gate is zero for disable counting okay right this, this is a system clock so based on the clock we can do the counting operations so this is a uh, count value right operation okay count value right so here the count value is 4 4 is a count value so it is a even counting okay right after the control word and the initial count that is n equal to 4 are written into counter the initial count will be loaded into next clock pulse the initial count is loaded into next clock pulse the clock pulse does not decrement the count so for an initial count of n the out does not go high until n plus 1 clock pulses after the initial count is written so initial count is written after that the output is low here this is a count value is 4 that is written here then the out is goes low and it is keep on low up to the count become 0 after getting the count is 0 it is in a enter into high so this is this mode is used for interrupt so that this mode is called as interrupt on terminal count okay right so here n is undefined so see here the count is start from here 4 3 2 1 and 0 so when it is start when we are applying count value is 4 then from the next clock pulse the count is started uh, count if the count is stop at the time the out is ho high when out is go high at the time the count value is stopped okay this is a interrupt on terminal count this is the same also the same example some uh, some example here the count value is 3 okay this is our clock pulse here initially out is high so here only we are getting low so after after uh, writing lsp equal to 3 then next from the next clock, clock pulse actually in this clock pulse we are writing the data the next clock we are start the count when the gate is lowing okay actually uh, gate always should be one then only we can enable the count so output should be should be low the outline should be low at then only we can enable count and out is go high at the time we cannot count okay the process is stopped okay right so here the count is started at gate uh, is one gate is means lock, like just like a lock okay so at that point the count is started the count value starting value is three 
so 3 2 1 like that so here gate is in the under low so the count is paused okay so count is stopped so 2 I mean again 2 again 2 again the gate value is enabled to 1 then it is count start again 1 0 like that okay right so same way it will count that is a even counter similarly here uh, count value is 3 so the gate is always 1 so no problem so after applying the count value so from the next clockwise onwards count will count the out, uh, count will count uh, 3 2 1 okay so before getting 0 uh, next value is loaded that is a lsp equal to 2 so uh, after writing this 2 after writing lsp equal to 2 then next from the next clock files so it is counted that is 2 1 0 here the count block process is stopped up to 1 so 0 is not available here because uh, before getting 0 so another one count value is loaded into count register so in the count register again count the value of 2 current loaded value okay so this is an event counter interrupt on terminal next one is mode 1 hardware resetable one sort one sort means single short pulse that is a one shot okay right so here out initially low okay initially low out will uh, low low on the clock pulse following trigger to begin to one start pulse okay so actually initially the out is low when now here the output is high so at the time the gate is produce one shot the gate is gate or trigger is producing one shot pulse and after that after getting a one shot so uh, the counter start counting so the count value is 3 so after applying the one shot then we are having one clock pulse delay then the count value is started so here the one shot is applied then here on uh, gap is there there is a one clock pulse after that the count value is started so count value is just zero the out getting high again uh, next second one shot pulse is present at gate then next uh, counting is started at when out is entered into low the out will go high and remain high until clock pulse after the next trigger that means next gate pulse thus generating a one shot pulse after writing a control word and initial count the counter is on the trigger result is loading the counter and setting out low on next clock pulse thus starting the one shot pulse and initial count n is result in the one shot pulse n clock cycles in duration okay right this is a mode one this is a mode one examples so here uh, see that is uh, count value is three here one shot pulse is initiated by gate after initiating one shot then we are waiting for one clock pulse then the count value is started the count value is start from three to one okay so when it's reaching one then one clock pulse is another one one shot is initiated so after initiating one shot again the counter is reset reset to uh, three because the zero is not coming here three two one zero when it reaches a zero the out goes high similarly here uh, count value is initially two then the one shot is initialized here after initializing one shot uh, it wait for one clock pulse then it start counting that is two one then zero okay the next uh, count value is loaded into count uh, count register that is four but here it is wait for one shot and the out low so here the one shot is initiated it is wait for one pulse then 
get is getting low then here it onwards it is counted that is second value is 4 4 3 2 0 2 1 0 like that okay this is the counting next one is a mode 2 that is a rate generator what is rate generator so this mode function like uh, divide by n counter okay it is a divide by n counter so it is typically used to generate real time clock interrupt it is mainly used for real real time clock interrupt out will initially high when the initial count has decremented to one out goes low for one clock volts out then goes high again the counter reload its initial count and the process repeated mode to periodic the same sequence is repeated again and again uh, for an initial count of n the sequence repeats every n clock cycles okay see here the count value is 3 that is loaded this is our clock pulse gate is enabled okay the count is enabled by gate then here the out is initially high so after writing count value it is wait for one clock cycle next the count is decremented okay so count value is initially three so three two one when it is reaches one the out is disabled that means out equal to zero so the count is again stopped okay then initially uh, this uh, count is zero for one clock cycle again stopped then count is incremented to one uh, that is a uh, round out is incremented uh, to one or out is enabled then again it's count from new value that is three uh, that is a uh, start from first three two when it is it is one then again the out is zero for one clock cycle okay right so it, so the count will is not reaches to zero yes the out is get into zero okay so this is a rate generator or divide by n counter the example for rate generator is see the lsp is 3 that means count value is 3 so after writing count value so we are waiting for one clock wells then next clock wells unless we are start counting but the gate is off so the counting is stopped for a clock cycle some two clock cycles so 3 2 2 again the gate is enabled then the again counter is start so 3 uh, counter start from again okay uh, not continue so if the gate is on same switched off and on then the counter is start from initial value not continue okay that is an important thing again it is 3 2 1 again the out also enter into low so it is stop the counting then again it is enabled to high and this again counting same way here you consider two values initially four in after that it is five when it is uh, loaded into four is loaded then one clock period is waited after one clock period so it is start counting four three two one like that when it is reaches zero at the time the out pulse is is zero so again it is reset to next count value that is ls equal to 5 that is count value equal to 5 then it is next count value is loaded to counter then it is decremented from 5 4 3 2 like this okay right so this is a mode to rate generator next one is a mode 3 that is a square wave mode so this mode generates the sequence of square pulses so this also uh, is for bird rate generation bird rate generation mode 3 is similar to mode 2 except for a duty cycle of out out will initially be high when half the initial count has expired out goes low for remainder of the count count mode 3 is periodic periodic means it is repeated again and again a sequence above is repeated 
an initial count of n is result in the square wave which period of n clock cycles mode 3 is implemented as follows so it has to count even count and odd count okay right see the diagram so here and the count value is 4 okay then if this is our clock pulse then gate is enabled that means counting is enabled here the out is also enabled so after uh, writing the data that is account value is 4 it is wait for one clock cycle then it start count 4 to 1 like that when it is reaches 1 at the time the output is disabled so the count is stopped okay again it is maintained 4 to then the count is enabled then it made in 4 to actually this is a even counter so even value is only counted uh, start from even value actually this is a 4 is a even next uh, next uh, even value is 2 okay so 3 is not available because 3 is a odd number okay 4 to only 4 to this uh, this repeated again and again so it will generate clock pulses that is square wave pulses similarly see the next examples so here also same okay the value is 5 okay so the count value is 5 but it start from even values okay this is a even count okay so 5 is odd number 4 is even number okay so the count start from even number 4 to 0 4 to 0 like that so now it should be enabled then it will automatically count 4 to 0 4 to 0 like that okay so the next one here are the same concept the uh, LSP is 4 so 4 is uh, first one is uh, 2 then again the count is low then low for 4 to then here uh, gate is off gate off means counting is soft counting is switch off so it is made in the same value 2 2 2 like that when the gate is enabled again you start counting okay so this is a square wave board next one is a mode 4 software triggered stroke so the output was high on setting this mode after terminal count the output goes low for one clock period and then goes high again okay see this is a mode for software triggered stroke so the count value is initially 3 that gate is enabled then out value is C the out value initially high okay and the out value is initially high so after writing uh, count value it wait for one clock cycle then it start count three two one zero okay zero. then uh, output is zero here then after that it is enabled after enabling there is count is not continued okay it is triggered when the software triggered actually it is counting is only counted for triggered okay so one time only it is executed right so here the count is stopped by one clock cycle of out low okay see the next example here the count is three then gate is enabled here only okay gate is enabled here so the three is maintained again and again so after writing three the gate is disabled here so the same value 3 is maintained again 3 is maintained here also 3 is maintained so here from here onwards from this cycle onwards gate is enabled after enabling the gate it start counting 3 2 1 0 like that when it is reaches 0 out goes low for one clock period okay so this is a it is so software to her the next example also same here having a two values two count values so one is three another one is two so three is applied after applying three it wait for one clock cycle and start counting three two one 
so before getting zero next value is loaded into count value register so that count value count register is wait for one clock cycle from this place then next it is start count actually uh, next value is zero here should be zero but before coming to zero the lsp is loaded by two so it is again decrement the current value that is the count register value is 2 2 1 0 like that when it is reaches 0 out and run to low for one clock period okay so this is a software trigger next one is a hardware trigger stroke that is a re-triggerable re-triggerable the last mode so here the last mode is this mode is similar to mode 4 but trigger at the gate initiate counting trigger at the gate initiate the counting it is same as set of previous mode but the, it is gate is act as a triggered c here gate is 0 in previous one gate is always 1 but here gate is 0 here one trigger is present gate is triggered when gate is triggered the count is starting okay after triggering the count is starting that is account that is 3 so 3 2 1 0 when it is reaches 0 out value is enter into low for one clock period okay after again gate is triggered then uh, it is wait for one clock cycle then it is start counting 3 2 1 like that okay so this is a hardware triggered because the gate is triggered external trigger gate is a input that is triggered okay when the gate is triggered it start counting okay this is a hardware generated stroke the next example see then same examples so here the count is 3 the out is enabled gate is triggered here so now after triggering it is wait for one clock wells then count start 3 2 uh, before reaching 1 again gate is triggered for half cycle again gate is triggered for half cycle so uh, instead of reaching instead of reaching 1 it is again recount from initial value that is 3 so 3 2 1 0 like that so whenever the gate triggers the counter reaches start counting from maximum value given in the count register see here we are having a two value first three after that five then up, up, after applying three the gate is triggered so after uh, applying trigger the counter start counting okay three two one zero like that okay but here is the count value is loaded five is loaded but gate is not triggered okay so that the previous uh, counting only takes place up to zero uh, here when it reaches zero out is enter into lower lower for one clock period after gate trigger the count is again started from new value that is five okay so this is a hardware triggered stroke okay so this way we can uh, trigger eight two five four uh, as a counter okay right these are the read write operation summary so always chip select cs bar equal to zero whenever we need read at the time write should be one whenever we write at the time read should be one okay then a naught and a one that is used to select counter if it is zero zero means that is counter 0, 0 1 means counter 1, 0 1 0 means counter 2, 1 1 means control bar. Okay. So according to the requirement of read and write operation, we can perform write and read operations. Okay. So last three operations are no operations. Okay, right. These are read write operations summary. Next one is minimum and the maximum initial count so for mode 0 the minimum count is 1 maximum count is 0 what is 0 0 is equivalent to 2 power 16 for binary counting and 10 power 4 for bcd counting okay actually 
0 is equal to 2 power 16 for binary or 10 power 4 for 10 power 4 for BCD counting. Okay. Mode 1 minimum is 1. Mode 2, 3 minimum count is 2. Then 4, 5 it is 1. This is a minimum and a maximum count value for different modes. Then gate pin operation summary. So gate pin, how gate pin is performed for different modes. For mode 0, low or going low is disabling counting, enabling counting, high is enabling counting. Okay. Then mode 1, rising stage, initiate counting. Excuse me. So mode 1, initiate counting. Okay. Then reset output after next clock. So what is the difference between uh, low going, low, high? Low means low horizontal line. High means uh, uh, top horizontal line. Rising means incrementing. Incrementing. That is incrementing. Okay. Right. Then in mode 2, the low indicates disable counting. Okay. High indicate enable counting, rising indicate initiate counting. Okay, so all the lows are mostly disable counting. All the right uh, high are in, in uh, enable counting. All the rising edges are initiating counting. Mostly, it is common. Okay, right. Application of A two five four. So real time clock. Where we are using real time clock. What is real time clock? Wall clock. So we know the wall clock that is a real time clock. So digital wall clock is nowadays we are using LED based 7 segment LED based real time clock. That clock shows seconds, minute, hours, then month, year, day. These things are it shows. So even power of it is running in back by battery. So automatically it changes the years, months, everything. Okay. So that is a real time clock. Then even counter, just like a stopwatch, digital one shot. If you are giving a small trigger, it will count for some time. It will produce some uh, uh, count value. Or if you press, if you give a one small pulse, it will generate one long time beep sound or long time uh, or glow the led like that then programmable rate generator we can generate different pulses square wave generator binary rate multiplier complex waveform generator complex motor control etc these are the 8254 applications okay so 8254 uh, not along with microprocessor this we can individually we can use for these operations okay then frequent frequently asked questions explain the block diagram of a254 with its modes what is timer or counter explain its different modes of operations actually this question is a time consuming question because it has more timing diagrams six di timing diagram so uh, be careful so time management is very important for timer understand time management is very important for timer 8254 in examination okay right okay thank you thanks for watching happy learning